हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिकल पाठशाला सो इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग सोल्यूशन ऑफ आई टी जेम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एग्जाम आई विल प्रोवाइड सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दिस वॉज द ट्रिकीएस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन आई टी जेम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन All other questions was direct, straightforward. There is a little bit trick involved in this question. I will rate this question as moderate one. Most of the students should take the answer two e plus three. I will tell the reason why they why they take this option. So first of all, read the question. Let x x plus e to the power x one plus x plus e to the power x be solutions of a linear second order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients. Underline this whole term: linear second order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients. I will use some basic properties of such type of equation and. Further, more information is given. If y x is the solution of same equation satisfying y of zero is equal to three and y does zero is equal to four, then y of one is equal to you have given four options. So first of all, recall some basic properties of second order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients, which is also linear. Okay, so. one property is fundamental set of solutions always exist fundamental set of solutions means they are solution of homogeneous part of that differential equation suppose this is the differential equation a not d square plus a1 d plus a2 y is equal to x this is the general form so fundamental set of solutions means they are solution of homogeneous part means a not d square plus a1 d plus a2 y is equal to 0 so solution of this equation will be written like this y is equal to c1 f plus c2 g plus pi where f and g are linearly independent from one another f and g are solutions of this homogeneous part and particular integral can never be written in terms of linear combinations of f and g so in this question if you are able to find what will be the value of f what will be the value of g and what will be the value of pi then you can easily solve this question so first of all if you will write like this y of x is equal to c1 If I am considering f is equal to one and I am considering g is equal to e to the power x, then c one plus c two e to the power x plus and I am considering particular integral x plus x. So if you will put c one is equal to zero and c two is equal to zero, you will get x. If you want to get uh, x plus e to the power x. Then put c1 is equal to zero and c2 is equal to one. If you want one plus x plus e to the power x, then put c1 is equal to one and c2 is equal to one. So you will get all these three solutions if you will assume your solution like this. Most of these students have assumed solution like y of x is equal to c1 x plus c2 x plus e to the power x plus. 1 plus x plus e to the power x. This is wrong. See, if you want to generate x, then for x you will never find the values of c1 and c2. Suppose this whole term is equal to x, and from this equation, if you will find c1 and c2, then there will be contradiction. So. For no values of c1 and c2, this whole expression can be equal to x or x plus e to the power x. So you cannot assume this. So solution will be like this. Now it is very easy to solve. See y of zero is equal to three. Put x is equal to zero. That is c1 plus c2 is equal to three. 
if x is equal to 0 then y of 0 is equal to 3 then 3 is equal to c1 plus c2 then what is the value of y dash x y dash x is equal to differentiation of any constant term is 0 and c2 e ki power x differentiation of c2 e ki power x is c2 e ki power x plus differentiation of x is 1 so plus 1 okay friends so y dash 0 is equal to 4 so you can write c2 plus 1 is equal to 4 it will imply c2 is equal to 3 if c2 is equal to 3 it will imply c1 is equal to 0 so c1 is 0 i can cancel this term and c2 is equal to 3 so i can write 3 here so your solution will be like y of x is equal to 3 e power x plus x and the value of y1 will be 3e plus 1 put x is equal to 1 so correct option will be d thank you friends